Peach Blossom Shangri-La by Tao Yuanming. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Paul Z, Hong Kong. During the Tai Yuan era of the Jin Dynasty, there was a man of Wu Ling who made his living as a fisherman. Once, while following a stream, he forgot how far he had gone. He suddenly came to a grove of blossoming peach trees. It lined both banks for several hundred paces, and included not a single other kind of tree. Petals of the dazzling and fragrant blossoms were falling everywhere in profusion. Thinking this place highly unusual, the fisherman advanced once again, in wanting to see how far it went. The peach tree stopped at the stream's source, where the fisherman came to a mountain with a small opening, through which it seemed he could see light. Leaving his boat, he entered the opening. At first, it was so narrow that he could barely pass, but after advancing a short distance, it suddenly opened up to reveal a broad, flat area with imposing houses, good fields, beautiful ponds, mulberry trees, bamboo, and the like. The fisherman saw paths extending among the fields in all directions, and could hear the sounds of chickens and dogs. Men and women working in the fields all wore clothing that looked like that of foreign lands. The elderly and children all seemed to be happy and enjoying themselves. The people were amazed to see the fisherman. And they asked him from where he had come. He told them in detail. Then the people invited him to their home, set up wine, butchered a chicken, and prepared a meal. Other villagers heard about the fisherman, and they all came to ask him questions. Then the villagers told him. To avoid the chaos of war during the Qin Dynasty. Our ancestors brought the families and villages to this isolated place, and never left it. So we have had no contact with the outside world. They asked the fishermen what the present rain was. They were not even aware of the Han Dynasty, let alone the Wei and Jin. The fishermen told them everything he knew in great detail. And the villagers were amazed and heaved sighs. Then other villagers also invited the fisherman to their homes, where they gave him food and drink. After several days there, the fisherman bid farewell. At which time some villagers told him, "It's not worth telling people on the outside about us." The fisherman exited through the opening. Found his boat, and retraced his route, while leaving markers to find his place again. Upon his arrival at the prefecture town, he went to the prefect, and told him what had happened. The prefect immediately sent a person to follow the fisherman, and look for the trail markers, but he got lost and never found the way. Liu Ziji of Nanyang was a person of noble character. When he heard this story, he was happy and planned to visit the Shangri-La, but he died of illness before he could accomplish it. After that, no one else ever looked for the place. End of Peach Blossom Shangri-La by Tao Yuanming.